well, time now for the weather forecast. And uh, it's another weekend of dodging the showers, isn't it, Benny? Yes, it absolutely is. But at least it is going to be a frost-free, which is great news for gardeners and growers. There is some sunshine around and there'll be some showers as we go through Saturday and Sunday. Pretty much much of next week as well. So through tonight, yes, we do have these showers lurking around. A weather front will bring a band of more persistent rain to the southwest within the next hour or so, and then gradually that track its way north and eastwards, reaching most areas by dawn. Temperatures fairly mild, 7 to about 9 Celsius. The southeasterly winds picking up, especially across South Wales, as we go into early hours of tomorrow morning. So that front will clear tomorrow. But low pressure is in charge, so the air is pretty unstable. Behind the rain, we've got some showers to come. So it's a wet start to our Saturday morning. That rain band will clear into England, and then behind are these hefty showers. They could be mixed with hail and thunder, but at least in between, there'll be some sunshine with the temperatures up to about 14 Celsius. So for the rest of the British Isles, I think Scotland's starting the day on a dry note. This rain band track in its way northwards, showers falling on behind, the winds picking up across the southwest, some sunshine in between as well with the temperatures up to about 15 Celsius. By Saturday night, we do still have a few showers lurking around and uh, the winds picking up as well into early hours of Sunday morning. Temperatures on the mild side still should be frost free down to about six Celsius. And then it's a repeat performance for the second part of the weekend. Another day of sunshine and heavy showers, those showers mixed with hail and thunder with the temperatures up to about 15 Celsius. More showers to come next week, Lucy. Benny, thank you very much. And that's well today. We'll be back with the latest at five past four tomorrow afternoon. Until then, from all of us here, good night. Well, time for the weekend forecast now. Ben has a calmer day tomorrow, I hope. Yes, we can look forward to a brief respite tomorrow, Jen. But we do currently have 23 flood alerts in place and also one flood warning that is in place at the moment for Lower D Valley from Llangochlan to Trevelyan Meadows. So we still do not out of the woods just yet, but we can look forward to drier, calmer conditions tomorrow. There'll be some sunshine as well. If we take a look at the radar, we do still have this band of heavy rain across much of Wales. It is starting to clear northern regions as it tracks its way southwards over the next couple of hours. And then behind it, Still, there'll be a few showers lurking around, but at least the winds are starting to ease off as well as we go into early hours of tomorrow morning. Temperatures now getting down to about 5 Celsius tomorrow. That area of low pressure moving over towards Scandinavia. A brief ridge of high pressure building. Another low pressure system coming in on Sunday. But first thing tomorrow morning, yes, one or two showers to start the day. They'll tend to fizzle out. Lots of sunshine as we go into the afternoon and certainly drier conditions and lighter winds. So in the sunshine, it will feel pleasant tomorrow. Temperatures up to 15 Celsius. I think we deserve it after what it's been like over the last 48 hours. Now, through the rest of the British Isles, a fairly calm affair thanks to high pressure building from the southwest but low pressure to the east still a little bit blustery there a few showers with the best of the sunshine further west highs tomorrow up to about 15 celsius tomorrow night clear skies at first but cloud will build through the night a few showers coming in low pressure starting to track its way in from the west and then we go into sunday We've got this band of rain coming in from the west. The wind's picking up as well. Quite an unpleasant day. But there is hope next week. By Wednesday, things should start to settle down. Have a lovely weekend. Back to you, Jen. And as thank you very much. And that's all from the Wales Today Late Team. We'll be back with updates throughout the weekend. But for now, from all of us here, enjoy what's left of your Friday night. You'll start. Bye-bye. Grey, miserable and wet for many of us today. Derek's here. What's going on? Not great, is it, Thomas? You may remember May last year, which was the sunniest on record and the second driest on record. This May couldn't be more different. We've all seen some rain today, as you can see on the radar picture, circulating around low pressure over the English Channel. Some of this rain heavy, and it's been pretty cool as well, no higher than 14 Celsius. The reason for the inclement weather is all down to our friend the jet stream. It's the south of us at the moment, across Spain and the Mediterranean and its position isn't going to change much over the weekend and indeed next week. So that means more mixed and changeable weather to come through the rest of this month. But there is hope, there is a sign that it may turn drier and more settled during the last week of the month.
In the meantime, more rain to come this evening, some of it heavy in parts of mid and south Wales, maybe a rumble of thunder, but overnight the rain will gradually ease and clear. By the end of the night, most of the country dry and no frost for low around 6 Celsius. Tomorrow brings a window of drier weather, but this next frontal system is on the way. So tomorrow, a drier day. There will be a grey and misty start in parts of the east and southeast, but it will gradually brighten up. We'll see some sunshine, but that will trigger a few heavy and thundery showers during the afternoon. But quite a few places will miss those and stay dry. In the sunshine, it will feel pleasant. The high around 15 Celsius with just a light breeze. A few heavy and thundery showers tomorrow mm. evening, and then a band of rain will spread from the southwest overnight. The wind's picking up a bit as well. Into Saturday, rain in the morning will clear. Then it will brighten up with sunny intervals, but quite a few showers as well. Some of these heavy, perhaps with thunder. Lots more showers to come on Sunday too. It doesn't look great, does it? Some of these heavy and thundery, quite breezy in the south. And the mixed weather is set to continue next week. Some sunshine as well, Lucy. Okay, Derek, thanks very much. That's what else today. We'll be back with the latest after the BBC News at 10. But for now, from all of us on the programme, have a good evening. Bye bye. Well, sunny there in Baku and sunny here too. Derek, it's been quite warm today, hasn't it? It has, Lucy. Yes, 22 Celsius in a few places, 72 Fahrenheit. Not quite as warm as that in Gwynedd, near 17 Celsius in Llandanog, but still nice enough to be on the beach with lots of sunshine together with a few cumulus clouds. Mind you, it won't be as nice as this tomorrow and over the next few days because there is some low cloud and mist on the way, thick enough for a few spots of light rain or drizzle. The night's warmer and muggy too. Now, it's fine out there this evening evening with sunshine to end the day for many of us. Overnight cloud will increase in the north and west with a few spots of light rain or drizzle during the early hours. Milder than last night, the lowest temperature around 9 or 10 Celsius. Now tomorrow high pressure will slip further south and that means moist southwesterly winds and they will bring a lot more cloud. A sunny start in the morning for eastern parts but too, soon turning cloudier everywhere. Misty too on some coasts and hills with a few spots of light rain or drizzle. Some drier, brighter spells to the north and east of high ground. And here the highest temperatures, 22 Celsius likely in Flintshire, near 16 or 17 on southern and western coasts, and quite breezy in the northwest. And then on Thursday, plenty of low cloud, again a few spots of light rain or drizzle. But some places will brighten up. Some sunshine likely in Rill and Monmouth, and here it will turn out warm and muggy with highs of 22 Celsius. More cloud on Friday, again a few spots of light rain or drizzle, otherwise dry, and more places should brighten up with some sunshine. The best of that in parts of the north and east, maybe some sunshine too in Pembrokeshire, and it will feel warm and muggy. And then for the weekend, we've got high pressure on the way, that's going to settle things down bringing some lovely weather over the weekend, warming up as well. It will feel humid. Beach and barbecue weather, I think, over the weekend, with temperatures rising into the low to mid-20s Celsius. Lucy. Oh, sounds lovely, Derek. Thanks very much. That's it. I'll be back with the latest after the BBC News at 10. But for now, from all of us on the programme, thanks for your company and have a good evening. Bye-bye.